is anyone has been to Craig's Restaurant on Melrose right here in Los Angeles. And here to make us one of their delicious dishes is their executive chef, Kirsten Kaiser, and the namesake of the restaurant himself, Mr. Craig Susser, sitting the man. in honor of Dexter Cameron That's and right. Now, your restaurant is phenomenal. I, you know, it's, it's, I'm not just saying that because you're here. You know it's one of my favorites. But a lot of people can't get to the restaurant. So today, Kirsten, you're going to show people at home how to make this delicious, delicious chicken Velasco. That's right. So that, that it would basically be like they are in Craig's living room. You can bring it right home to your own house. All right, show us how to make it. What do we do first? All right, let me go, uh, I'm gonna throw this pan on over here. Uh, so you take these two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. <laughs> okay. Season them. Okay, dig in, Craig. I'm working on it. <laughs> I asked him if he's ever had it before. He said, I yes, I have. Stop. Once or twice. <laughs> Okay, so you All right, put that so in your dredge it. Not that crazy, just a little bit to thicken up the sauce, and then drop this over here into your warm pan. And what is in that pan right now? Uh, just a little bit of oil and butter. Uh, really easy on the butter, just gives you a little bit of flavor, uh, and it also helps thicken the sauce at the end. Okay. And uh, mm. a little bit of olive oil, and that's it. And is there Yummy. anything special in the dredge? Uh, just salt and pepper, just a nice, easy, uh, like season it, uh, yeah, always season your chicken or whatever, chicken or fish, whatever you're making, okay. uh, and then season your flour also. Okay. So you're always looking for ways to take a good, clean protein and give it a lot of flavor. Right. Right, and make it healthy. Exactly. And also it's fun to do it kind of almost in one pot. That's right, less to clean up. And see, I think a lot of people mistake fat for flavor. You can still make things very flavorful and healthy just by seasoning Absolutely. correctly, right? That's right. So, uh, so how long will we leave this here? Only two or three minutes. You just want to get this to brown a little bit. So just another minute or two. This is a nice, this is a great pan. Uh, also depends on how large your chicken is. And you so. would want to use a cast iron? Yeah, cast iron is great. I cook everything on cast iron if I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a great heat conductor and uh, gives you a good sear. Most home cooks are afraid to get a good sear, and I think that makes a difference. Even whether it's chicken, fish, or steaks. They get scared they're going to burn it. Yeah. Right. This is so flavorful. Okay, so, so we got that going. Once you get a little bit of color on there. Um, Which was very quick, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fantastic. Okay. Uh, so then you're going to throw in your jalapenos and garlic. Okay. I love and that just, little bite I'm getting yeah. from the jalapenos. Yeah, right. So you get a lot of flavor, and there's no fat. Right? And Very this is uh, totally user friendly, as hot or mild as you like. Okay, take so, the seeds out. Uh, I don't because I like it a little bit spicy, but um, you know, it, you're you making it at home however you want to do it. It's, okay, it's, it's up, it's up to you. All right. So once we got that going, so yeah. you just want to you want to brown your garlic but not burn it. Okay, which could be tricky. That's why you right. Need to have so to once you start getting a little bit of color, you take your Casamigos tequila or whatever your favorite brand is. Which, by the way, Casamigos or just any kind of tequila, I'm I'm. A little surprised that you're using tequila to deglaze. I've well, always heard of wine. Frankly, right. frankly or... the boys weren't selling enough tequila, so I yeah. thought it helped. <laughs> yeah, they're struggling. Right. You know, they're having a problem. Friends, so <laughs> sure. to out yeah. how to make it with it. Yeah. yeah. Who any anyone out there who may not know that is George Clooney's tequila yeah. and also Craig's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's using I that. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. give this a little spin around. You're gonna get all the uh, in chefy terms uh, fond off the bottom. It's the crumbly stuff. Okay. Uh, and if you do it right, you barely have to wash the pan either. So you get that's what's gonna thicken your sauce. Clearly, I haven't been doing it right. <laughs> Shocking. <Thank So>. <laughs> really? <laughs> it makes cleanup way better. Uh, and then just add your lemon juice, chicken stock, and demi glaze. And the demi glaze. Explain what the demi glaze is. Uh, it's just a thickened sauce. You can either do it with um, brown chicken stock or veal stock. Uh, in this case, it's chicken because we're making chicken. Uh, so it has a little bit of roux in it, which also helps thicken the sauce up. And it gives it sort of um. So, like substance. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So, the best part about this dish is now you can just take this whole thing and throw it in the oven. The sauce is going to reduce by itself. The chicken will finish cooking uh, in your oven. Go like 350, 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how big your chicken is. Okay, we'll pop that in there. And I got to tell you, it's yeah. so moist and tender. It's, so, it's such a great way to cook the chicken. There's, there's no dryness to it at all. And I yeah. love the jalapenos. Yeah. I right. love and the well, yeah, yeah, it gives it so much. So you, you get a lot of flavor and you think that you know, you're know you eating something a little healthy. Yes. And no, then absolutely. in the meantime, you made that beautiful saute of onions and just peppers, exactly. right? Exactly. So this is really easy. Uh, red and yellow bell pepper, sautéed onions, and uh, it just it makes the really light dish. Uh, it gives you a lot of flavor, but without a lot of fat and things you don't really okay. need. Okay. It's delicious. We'll plate this up. You guys plate this up, and I'm going to bring up another uh, the sort of the dessert to this fantastic meal. It's an amazing non-dairy ice cream. I know. Ah. By the way. Debbie's obsessed with this meal. Debbie is obsessed with this ice cream. It's so good. So good. It's so good. And I'll tell I, Craig, I did not believe it's non-dairy. It's plant-based. I thought he was lying to me, and I said, <laughs> I have to go in your kitchen and see how you make it because I don't believe it. It's made from cashews? Yeah. 
Yeah, so, so the great thing is, you know, the whole world is moving a little bit plant-based. Whether you're vegan or non-vegan, you're looking for ways to kind of cut back on dairy intake. Mm -hmm. And so we were trying to come up with a way to create an ice cream that gave you the same sensation of eating ice cream, but taking all the dairy fat out, the cholesterol out, and reducing your sugar intake. I was wow, at an animal welfare event and they had only certain types of foods because it had to be, you know, healthy and, and happy and nice to animals. And this was there and I fell in love. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> if you told me that this was just like full fat cream ice cream, no. I would believe it. Right. Like that's how good this is. Mm. You're a miracle worker. No, it's really good. And, and the great thing is just the world is moving that way. And I think if you don't move to some sort of plant-based and you don't embrace it, I think you kind of do it at your own peril, wow. especially in the restaurant business and in your mm -hmm. own homes. I, okay. I would like you to think that I'd come to the restaurant to see you, but it's really for the ice cream. It's really for the ice cream. That's okay, Dan. Well, thank okay. you. I, I totally appreciate that. You can lie to me. It's okay. The next time you come on the show, you got to show us how you make this. How about that? That's, That's right. Deal, everybody. We'll that. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely you. delicious. You'll find thank this you. recipe at hallmarkchannel.com, everybody.